Hello, my name is Joseph. Today we're going to go over an Etch-a-Sketch program I wrote in Atari Basic. I've got here the Atari 65XE. It's on, it's booted into the DOS, the disk operating system. If I press A, enter, enter, it gives me a listing of all the programs. DOS and DUP are the DOS itself and the disk menu respectively. So this menu here that's being displayed. There's also some programs. Hi, Etch. Um, we're, so first let's look at Hi. Alright, now that we know the file names, we're going to go back to basic by pressing B. Normally it loads the, the cartridge, but since we don't have any cartridge in, it will load the built-in basic. Since we see that ready prompt, we know that we're back in basic. Now we're going to type load. D1 indicates disk 1. The file is high and the extension is dot B A S. All right, now it displays ready. How do we know that it actually loaded successfully? If we type list, we'll get the program. So we see the program listing. There's line numbers at the side here. Line 10 has a for loop. So from I equals 1 to 10, that means that we're going to repeat the loop 10 times. Line 20 is print high. That means it's going to display on screen the letters HI. And then 30 is next I. So that just means that's going to do the next I, the next iteration of the for loop. We get another ready prompt, and if we type run, we'll actually run the program. So we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, we get 10 highs. What if we want to modify the program? Well, if we just type a line number by itself, it'll delete that line. So if we just type 30, enter, and type list, now we just have line 10 and 20. Now if we try to run it, it's not going to work. It's not going to do the loop because there's no next die. So it's just going to print once and then end the program. If we want to add a new line, you have to type a line number first. You want to make sure that it's not the same as an existing line because if it's an existing line, it will just replace that line. That's what you do if you want to edit a line. So 30, space, next, I, enter. Now if we list, that line is back. If we wanted to edit a line like the first line, we type 10 for i equals 1 to 20. Now if we run it, we get a bunch more highs. Alright, now I'm going to load the other program. Or actually first, let's Let's see how to save. To save a program, we type save. Disk 1. And we're going to write over the file hi.bas. Alright, so it saves. 
Now let's load the other program. Um, what was it called? Let's just check what it was called again. So I'm loading the DOS. This is the DOS. A lists the program. Oh, yeah, it's Etch. So press B, enter. Now it's ready. So load. Load etch.base from this one. All right, it loaded. Now if we list it, <clears throat> I'm going to go over line by line here. Line 10 sets the graphics mode. It sets it so that it's a uh, full screen black background, no text, so it's um, it's just graphics. Then line 20 sets the color, so the color that we're going to be drawing with will be green, sort of greenish blue. Line 30 sets the initial X and Y positions, so we'll keep track of the position on the screen. Line 40 sets the initial point that's going to be drawn, it'll be drawn green at zero, zero. Then that poke, poke causes memory locations to be changed. So in that example, we're going to change memory location 764. We're going to change it so that its new value is 255. What that does is it causes the cursor to disappear. So you see down here after the ready prompt, there's that little white cursor indicating the position. That poke causes that to disappear. Next line, 60, we're going to have a variable A and we're going to set its value to be that of S trig zero. What S trig is, is it's the button on the joystick. So, um, you have a joystick like this and it has a button. When the button is pressed, it's going to be zero. When it's not pressed, it's going to be one. So the value of S trig so the value in A is going to be 1 if it's not pressed, 0 if it is pressed. And the 0 there, the S trig 0, that just indicates that it's going to be the first joystick. So 0 is joystick 1. Z equals stick 0. That's going to be the direction of the joystick. So zero indicates joystick, so stick zero indicates joystick one. Then down here, line 80, we have if A equals zero. So remember, A is the trigger. So if it's zero, that means that's pressed. Then we're going to go to line 10. So we're going to jump back up to line 10 where we set the graphics mode. What that's going to do is it's going to erase the entire screen. So it's going to reset everything. So the button is going to be a reset button. Then the next line, if Z equals 14, um, the joystick has different values depending on which direction you're pressing it in. So 14 is going to be down. So if you press the joystick down, then the Y value is going to be the previous Y value minus one. And you're going to go to 140, which we'll look at later. Next line, if it's 13, which is up, then you're going to increment the Y. 
Um, and similarly with left and right, right's going to be 7, left is going to be 11, you're going to change the x values, and you're going to go to 140. So 140 is going to be, if y is less than 0, then make it 0. So these four lines here are just going to set the values so that if they're off the screen, they're going to be back on to the edge of the screen. Then after that, line 180 is going to draw to xy. So that's going to draw from the last point drawn to the current xy position. So initially it's going to be from 0 to, say, 0, 1, and then it's going to keep doing that each time through the loop. So then you're going to go to line 50. That's going to go back up. Um, to the poke. Actually, it, it could be line after line 60. Since if we do the poke once, it's going to keep the, the cursor off. So that should actually be line 60 where we're going to get the new value of the trigger and the stick. See, you know, if they're pressed or not. And then we're going to repeat it all over again. Repeat the whole draw routine over again. So that's it. I'm going to run it now. We'll see how it runs. Um, so I typed run there. And if I press enter, the whole screen got black. So now I have my joystick here. So if I press right, it's going to go right and down, it's going to go down. If I go back left and I keep going to the edge of the screen, it's not going to go past the edge of the screen because if I press down, see it's still there. So now, if I press the button, it's going to all reset and it's going to continue from the beginning of the draw routine again.